Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. CNN reporter nearly gets into physical fight at briefing, gets smacked back to reality by Sarah. Sarah Huckabee Sanders has done an amazing job as press secretary and her accomplishments speak for themselves. However, that does not stop the liberal mainstream media from twisting her words, trying to put her down, and overall treating her like garbage. But nonetheless, she takes it all in stride. But yet again she went toe-to-toe -to -toe with another reporter who this time is alleging that Sanders wants to get into physical fights. Small-time CNN political analyst and contributor April Ryan got into it with Sanders over Robert Mueller and Rudy Giuliani. When Ryan did not get the answer she wanted she continued to talk over Sanders even as she was trying to take other reporters' questions. When Sanders hit her back with a sucker punch to the face Ryan just couldn't take it. Fox News reported. After Ryan asked a combative question during Thursday's press briefing, accusing her of being blindsided by comments Rudy Giuliani recently made on Fox News, Sanders told Ryan, Well, with all due respect, you actually don't know much about me in terms of what I feel and what I don't. Ryan misquoted Sanders while speaking to CNN colleague Don Lemon on air afterwards, claiming the press secretary said, You don't know me, before declaring the phrase to be fighting words. For Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the presidential spokesperson, the mouthpiece for the President of the United States, to say, You don't know me, in certain quarters in this nation, that starts a physical fight, Ryan said. I was very shocked. It was street. I will even go beyond that, it was gutter. Sanders did not immediately respond to request for comment. Sanders, who is from Hope, Arkansas, soon found herself catching Twitter shade from none other than former Democratic Baltimore Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake, as first reported by Daily Caller's Amber Athey, who offered Baltimore native Ryan an unsolicited comeback suggestion. Rawlings Blake recommended that next time, Ryan should say, I may not know you, but I damn sure know a lie. And you are wearing it sis, all over your face oh wait is that a smudge in your liner? The liner remark is a callback to the controversial stand-up routine during the White House Correspondents' Dinner when Michelle Wolf poked fun at the press secretary's eyeliner. Ryan quickly responded, lol stop. Be more in the house I know you have my back. That you don't know me stuff begins fist fights. She needs to know what she is saying. I am not the one. Rawlings Blake then responded, already took my earrings off and Vaseline in my purse, and added a fist emoji, to which the CNN political analyst fired back, that is what I am talking about. Take off that pretty ring to fourth. Sick, street fight. Lol. Ryan and Sanders have been involved in verbal altercations in the past. Sanders recently slammed Ryan, who is American Urban Radio's White House correspondent, for asking if President Trump has thought about stepping down. Sanders fired back, no, and I think that's an absolutely ridiculous question. Ryan also famously accused Sanders of lying about whether or not she baked a pie for Thanksgiving. The United States Secret Service directed Fox News to CNN and the White House when asked if they consider the latest comments a threat. CNN did not respond to request for comment. This is not the only administration official she has gotten into it with lately. Former Press Secretary Sean Spicer got into it with her as well and Ryan took the opportunity to take their fight to social media. The Hill reported the following about their fight. Journalist April Ryan pushed back at former White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer on Saturday for saying she was interested in personal fame when asking pointed questions during press briefings. Ryan, a correspondent for American Urban Radio Networks, joked that Spicer couldn't run her over with his podium, a reference to the famous Saturday Night Live skit depicting Spicer with a podium on wheels, because he was fired. Um he can't he got fired remember by it Scaramucci and they never called him back, Ryan said referring to Anthony Scaramucci, who served as White House communications director for less than two weeks last year. She also shared tweets accusing him of having selective memory and affirming a Twitter follower who claimed the former White House official was on a frantic search for relevance. Her comments came after Spicer took to Fox and Friends earlier Saturday and weighed in on one of Ryan's controversial exchanges this week with Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Ryan had asked Sanders if President Trump planned on resigning and later suggested the spokeswoman threatened a physical fight with the reporter when responding to her questions about a past misstatement over Trump's alleged affair with an adult film actress. Why can't she just ask a straightforward question and ask for a straightforward answer? Spicer said during his Fox News appearance, pointing to Ryan's questioning at briefings. The former White House press secretary noted that Ryan and other reporters have gotten newfound notoriety due to briefings garnering increased attention in recent months. Suddenly, after April engaged in a bunch of back-and-forths, she gets a CNN contract, 
as have many other reporters who have created sort of YouTube viral moments, not because of the content of their reporting but because they became some kind of sensation from a back and forth, Spicer said. What that tells me is they're more interested in personal fame, he said. Comedian Kathy Griffin, known for once posing for a picture that depicted her holding a mask meant to look like Trump's severed head, also had some choice words for Spicer over his remarks. Shut the F, up at scene Spicer. She's famous after decades of hard work and because of the terrible way you and Sarah have treated her, Griffin tweeted. This is exactly why the press briefings are not always recorded. Not because the administration is scared of hiding anything but because instead of focusing on reporting on real news reporters are looking for the 15 minutes of fame by trying to go viral and saying outrageous and untrue things. What they should be doing is focusing on doing their job and not perpetuating their own tenable fame. That is not what reporting is all about and it is a shame that this is what it has become in recent years. Especially since President Trump came into office. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.